So yeah, it's um, it's a story collection. Like you said, there are 17 short stories. Some of them are very, very short, and most most of them though are longer traditional length short stories. Um, and the setting ranges everywhere from um, backstage at a reality TV show to war zones to modern day New York and Chicago. Um, some of the stories are kind of surreal. There's a story about a woman who um, in the modern day finds Johann Sebastian Bach living in her apartment and has an affair with him. Um, oh, okay. And yeah, <laughs> and um, there are stories that are much more realistic um, and traditional. And um, what unites them though, they're, they're linked in their theme um, or their themes, um, which is right there in the title, Music for Wartime. Um, there are stories that, um, most of the stories are about arts or artists in some way, and answer or ask at least, if not answer the question of what it means to make art and to try to find beauty and make order um, in a chaotic, sometimes hostile world. Yeah, no, these are, these are stories that span um, the length of my entire career. Um, the oldest story in the collection, although it's been revised heavily since then, was written in 2002. Um, and the most recent were written about a year ago, a little more. So um, we, you know, I, I was looking for um, a way to really assemble a collection. I didn't want to just publish a pile of stories that I happen to have written. I feel that a collection needs to cohere in the same way that an album does. Like, remember when we listened to whole entire music albums and there was sort of some <laughs> cohesion there? Um, or a fashion show, you know, that there needs to be um, a story that they're telling all together that's greater than the sum of the parts. And um, so I wasn't really ready yet, even though I published a lot of short stories um, when my first two books, my novels came out, um, I wasn't ready to compile them all and um, I didn't really see a way for them to fit together. It was hard to find yeah. a way for a story about reality TV to go next to a story about World War II. Right. Um, and it wasn't until I found the thematic similarities between them and then filled in some of the gaps between those, those very different spaces that um, I started to see how it could be a collection.